welcome to my ballet bar number three. So my third time round, getting better each time, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, I've changed my layout around a little bit, so I'm on my rug upside down, which feels much nicer, but uh, working on the floor keeps my chair nice and stable. So you're gonna need a nice uh, steady chair if you can. Make sure you've got plenty of room behind you to swing your legs, but also you can just angle at the bar. So same as the last two classes, we've got five exercises, but at the end we're gonna do a nice stretch today and we're gonna use the chair, uh, which will be quite nice. Um, yeah, so let's get going. Um, we'll do, when the music gets going, we'll, there's a bit of an introduction, so we'll do a bit of a warm up with some roll downs and from a parallel coming into a, um, a turned out position, maybe without the bar. And then, but I'll just set the plies before we do any of that. So from first position, we've got a demi-plie and anything you like with your arms, really. Demi-plie and then what I call a broken down rise and plie. So you're gonna take that demi-plie again, gonna rise right up onto the balls of your feet, lifting the heels up, straighten the legs and lower, then reverse that up bend the knees, push the heels down, and then another demi-plie. So the broken down rising plie is like a sandwich, sandwich between two, two demi-plies. Um, and if I forget, please excuse me. Followed by two full plies. All the way down if you can, maybe reverse the arms on the second one. I, I just change what I do with my arms as I go along. Followed by a nice uh, big Pull the bra all the way forwards, come up with a beautiful flat back. You've got eight counts here. So then you're reaching back, opening the arms out. Then we're gonna take a rise and a balance and just hold that. And again, we've got another eight counts before we go into, into second. So second position, demi-plie, one, two, broken down rise and three and four, reverse it and five and six, demi-plie, seven and eight, two full plies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, let's stretch towards the bar first. You've got eight counts here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Holding in that demi, uh, sorry, in that rise. Uh, elbows lifted, thinking about those, that nice shape of the arms. Lowering, coming round to fourth crossed. Same beginning, demi plie, broken down rise and lower followed by a demi-plie, followed by two full plies, reversing the arms if you want to, followed by, use those at eight counts to go mini circular pour de bras in one direction with the upper uh, body, and then go back the other way, so for that's your eight counts. Uh, coming up into a nice arabesque position, and when, maybe when you're balancing, you could just transfer your weight forwards and backwards, maybe if you want to just play about within it, if you wanted to, uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, and then we're closing in fifth, same thing, demi-plie. Broken down, reverse, demi-plie, two full plies, great big circular pour de bras all the way round and down and back. And then we're gonna come into that nice big lunge that I like to do, back leg nice and straight. If you haven't got the room behind you, angle yourself in towards the bar there towards your chair, uh, over that front leg, all the way back, bringing that back leg in and we'll finish with a rise and a balance in fifth. Okay, uh, yeah, so just one thing to think about before I put the music on and before we do this introduction. So just um, to sort of warm you up, get you in the right head space for what we're about to do, we want to think about all the way through class, lifting the rib cage off of the hips so that you can create so that you create space in the pelvic girdle to be able to turn those legs out without your upper body sort of uh, keeping the weight on there. So lots of length in the spine. So that's why we're gonna take a, a roll down, all the way down. We'll maybe bend and straighten the legs a couple of times, stretching the hamstrings, rolling back up. When you're back up at the top, so I'm in a, let me go over here so that you can see. In fact, I might do this without, without the chair. I don't, you don't need the, the any balance assistance. From your parallel, really parallel position, you're gonna pitch your weight forwards, squeeze your heels together by turning the legs out in the hip socket, really important. Release and lower the heels, come back to parallel. We're gonna do that just a couple of times. And then on the third one, stay in your turned out position. Look down, check. 
Are you equally turned out? Feel that nice connection in the inside thighs. And then we'll maybe, if we've got time, keep the heels squeezed together and just take a little rise and a lower. It, you'll feel all your uh, turn out muscles firing up, which will be a great thing. And then we'll go into our theatre. So actually, maybe you do need to be near the bar for that. Okay, so first position. No, not first position. Oh dear, here we go. Actually, I need to put my light on. Might be an idea. A bit more light on the subject. It's not the strongest of bulbs, but... Here we go. So let's start with those feet nice and parallel. Find your position next to the bar for when we get going. And let's take a roll down. Chin onto the chest. Let those arms hang. Soften the knees. Straighten the legs as you breathe out. Bend the knees as you breathe in. Straighten to breathe out. Bend the knees. Rolling back up. And bring your heels together. And release. And heels together. And release. Last one. Heels together. Keep them together. Place the hand on the bar. Little rise and a squeeze. Okay, here we go. Demi Pneo. And Demi. And bend. Raise, straighten, low, reverse. Another Demi. And a full Pneo. And two. And three. And four. And five. This music is quite freestyle. The count is there, but you can go a little bit slower or a little bit faster, but that's forward bend, eight counts, three, four, lift up and back, five, six, seven, we're coming up into that rise, all the way there, maybe take a quarter bar, five, six, and second, here we go, Demi, and bend, raise the heels, straighten, low, reverse. And another demi. Heels stay down for this one, all the way through. If you've got a mirror in front of you, checking your symmetry and lift. We're going up and over towards the bar. And And we're taking that rise. Maybe bend your knees, come down into a plie, but keep those heels up. And rise. And fourth, crossed. And demi. And bend, rise, straight and low, reverse. Two full pleas. And I'm going to go the same way with the arms. And circular pull de bra. Keep it quite small. Make sure you're breathing. Relax that upper body. Go the other way. Lifting out those hips again. Really important here. I'm going to keep my. I'm going to go to first arabesque. And demi. Broken down, rise, bend, and to full clears. There's the times when you wish you didn't have a gravel driveway. <laughs> Forwards all the way, and all the way around. And big. And stepping, sliding that back leg back over that leg. All the way straight up and back if you can. Pin those arms back. Coming up into a nice arabesque again. Hold that there nice and low. And then just bring that back leg in behind you. Rise up, fifth position. Try not to totter. Holding that there. 
maybe just transfer the weight onto the back foot. You can't quite see, but I'm just taking my hand, other foot away. Lowering with control, placing into fifth, opening out and lowering. Good job. All on the other side. Let's take our bowl down again in the introduction. There we go. Parallel with everything. Think about the spine mobilizing. Let those arms hang. Unravel your spine all the way down. Straighten your legs. Breathe out. Soften the knees. Roll up through the spine. Bring those heels together, here we go, and slightly different timing than is it now? And bend, right, straighten, reverse, demi, full theo twice. Push those heels down, make sure you come through demi, and again lift. Forwards bend from your hips, nice flat back, arm above the head and lift up and back, arms down, come up into that rise, really strong, lifting the arms all the way up, holding that there, opening out, and we're in second, Demi. And bend, raise, straighten, reverse. Up, bend the knees, heels down. Demi. Full plie. Down. Checking for that perfect symmetry. Knees over the toes. Up and over towards the bar. And really lengthening away, rise and hold, think about those elbows on top, think about drawing the shoulders down, thinking about lifting the crown of your head up towards the ceiling, maybe take a little plie here, keep those heels up, pin those knees back, lift, 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 and lower, and full cross, here we go. Demi, and bend, all right, straighten, reverse, full plie now, nearly missed one out, all the way down, knees over the toes, hips square to your front, make sure your weight is equal in both legs, upper body circular vertebra. Let it go. Make sure you're breathing. Go the other way. Extend. Try and touch the sides of the room. Ah, we're up. First arabesque is the one I'm going to go for the second arabesque this side actually. Shoulders and hips nice and square. Maybe challenge yourself by circling those arms around. Fifth day. And plie, rise, straighten, and reverse. Demi. And plie. Lifting up. Full circular point of bra, all the way down. Moving around to the side, round to the back. And extending that leg out behind you, I'm going to go slightly out to the corner, we're over that front thumb. Moving back as far as you can. Pin those shoulders back. Nice thorough best lift, just nice and low. Holding that there, feel like everything's descending in the opposite direction. Come up into your rise. Holding it there. Cross those ankles over. I'm going to bring my arms down on my side. I'm going to try and just release that front foot. My toes are wrapping around my heel. 
Getting this side on the other side, closing in fifth, opening out and lowering. I notice on the monitor, oh, you will, you will be able to see on my camera, but <laughs> you probably couldn't see my feet then. Great, okay, we are doing some wonderful tondus and glissades. So we've got, can you see me? I might go over here a little bit more. Yeah, okay, so we've got from fifth. So the timing is, timing is quite crucial here. So we've got uh, Devon, one, plie, two, extend again, three, close and extend, four, close, five. And so we've got, let's do that again. So then repeat with the inside leg, so the timing will, will come. One, plie, two, extend, three, and four, and. So then you've got that missed, that missed count. Uh, to second, five, close six, seven, and eight, and. Then we've got the usual tonnier. You know by now that I really like that one. In fact, that's one, two, three, and four, uh, and four, and. Then we've got five, and six, and seven, into a tiering, close behind eight to reverse everything. This is all our tear. So this is tonnier, so the foot is staying on the floor, toes are staying on the floor. We'll do whatever you fancy doing with your arms at the time. Let's just put that hand on the hip for a moment. So to the back. One, plie, two, extend, three, and four, and. Inside leg, which is your front leg now. Five, plie, six, seven, and eight, and. To second. One, plie, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Close in front, eight to repeat absolutely everything, but this time we're on left. So please say, one, two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. You've got to get a bit of shifty on that. Uh, so think a second. So uh, second time round, second half of your parts of second. So you've got one, two, and three, no, one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight. Yeah, so just keep going on the ands for that last part of it. Uh, and that's it. Uh, finishing, mm, we'll finish with a, not sure what we would have done. We, 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 we would have been here, finishing in Retire. Let's come up onto a rise and a balance to finish at the end. Here we go. Quite slow. And one, plie, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and second one. Close behind. Three, and four, and five, and six, and seven. Close behind eight. Here we go. One, and plie, extend three, and four, and inside leg, five, six, seven, and eight, and second, one, and two, extend, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, closed in front, we're all glissé, one, two, three, and four, and get that accent on that different timing, and four, and, and second, plie, and straight, and da da ya ba da ra ba ba da Close behind, here we go, one And plie, and three And four, and five And six, seven And eight, and second, one Two, three And four, and, and five And six, and seven Eight up on that rise, holding it here if you can. Use the bar if you need to, but try and stay there. Hips and shoulders square, see if you can la 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 low with control. And close fifth, opening out. Brilliant, all on the other side. I need to kind of be a little bit more forward so I hit the wall on the, the 
back ones. Here we go. Six, seven, and eight. We've got one. Plie, two. Extend, three. Close, open, close. Back, and plie. And extend. Close, open, close. Second one. Two, three, and four, and five, and six, and retire, close behind to the back one, and two, three, and four, and five, six, seven, and eight, and second one, two, three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, all on there, we've got one, and two, three, and four, and five. We really try and use that floor, go through it with your feet, and second, and close, clear. Ba, ba, da, ba, and da, 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 close behind, last set, here we go, reverse, back, plie, and extend, and da, da, and inside leg, plie, extend, and close, second one, two, three, and four, and, and five, and six, and seven, we're pausing, I'm going to turn the music off before I get up there, so right up onto the ball of that foot if you can, get everything square, just leave one fingertip to the last minute, and then holding that there if you can, and lowering with control, sliding that foot down, opening arms out. Whew, I am getting very hot. Come on, Coop. seems on a Tuesday evening that it's very warm. Or well, is that just my imagination? I don't know. Okay, rond de jambe. So really important to have the, uh, the rib cage lifted off the hips so that you can turn, you can circle that leg all the way around without having the, without the hips getting involved. So we'll start from first, we'll go out to second and all on day of, on, on day or first, which is outwards. So from second, again, I'm just putting my hand at the back on my hip for the moment, just to get it out of the way. So we've got to the back, two and four counts. One, two, three, four again. Five, six, seven, eight, four in two counts. You come over this way a little bit more. And one, two, and three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight. So the first, the first two and four counts are quite evenly paced, hitting each position on the count. Try and make your, uh, your two count ones a little bit faster with a bit more emphasis. So you come through first a bit quicker and you almost pause in second, but it feels quite nice. Then we've got four, another four in four counts, but we're gonna change as we come through first. So the first two will be to the back. So we've got one, two, through first on a straight leg, then you're plieing and then you're straightening to second. And that, repeat that again. To the back five, through first straight legs, then plie, and then out to second. Repeating the same timing, but this time we're coming through first uh, in a plie. So we've got one, two, three, four, one more, five, six. This time the leg stays in front and we stay on that plie. We release the hands from the bar. We take a nice pour de bras over that leg. I think we've got eight counts, there's plenty of time here. And then we're lifting that leg into attitude, and this is where I need to remember what I'm doing. Uh, just have a quick look at my notes. Pull from this into attitude Javon and hold. Yes, so we've got we're holding it in attitude Javon, either one arm up, uh, opposite arm, same arm, it doesn't matter, or both arms up, I don't mind. Lift into retire at the end of that. Then we're going to go uh, fondue and this time keep the leg in the air. So we've got one two, carry it round to the back, three, four, you're at the back on four, the legs lifted but not too high, PK five, six, lift through back into a T-ray, seven and eight, repeat again, one, two, three, four, you're at the back in your arabesque, 
PK5, PK6, lift through seven, take it out to second to reverse everything. Okay, so here we go on the other side. So we're reversing, hand back on the arm, on the hip even. Uh, so we've got one, two and four counts. Two, three, four, two, two, three, four, four in two counts. And one, two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Two, four in four counts, two with straight legs, two with bent legs, as you come through first. One, two, plie, straighten, five, six, really wanted to bend my leg then, <laughs> then bend, seven, eight, now we're bending as we come through first. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, leave it at the back this time. Now we're going to take a We'll take that leg back, we'll take a nice pull de bras over, it doesn't have to be too deep this time, I've just turned to angle myself because I haven't got room to put that leg at the back. Uh, all the way back, lifting into an attitude, coming forwards into a tiré. And then we've got the repeat, have I got room this question? We've got the repeat of the thing going to the back, so we're here in, in a tiré. We've got fondue one, nice and low, it really doesn't have to be very high. Carry it round two, three, four to the front. Two piques, five and six. The accent is lifting it up. Uh, back into a tiré, seven, eight. To the back again, repeat one, fondue. Carry it round two, three, four. Uh, pique, sorry, five, six. Lift seven, extend out to second. If we've got time, uh, in the music, because the music is still going, I might just do some on there, single, single, double, double, reverse, single, single, double, double. We're going to finish this time on a rise with that leg in second, that's tough, holding that there. My standing leg is already, <laughs> already feeling quite tired, which is excellent. Uh, I'm going to come forwards a little bit. Okay, here we go, it's a nice wall, so you will enjoy. Six, seven, eight, four counts. One, two, three, four, again. Five, six, seven, eight, two counts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the back, straight legs, and plie. And to the back again, straight. But now we're coming through plie, one. Plie, two, three, and one more. This time keep that leg in front, open the arms out, pull the bra over the leg. Three, four, five, six, lift seven into the tiré. And one, two, three, four, PK five, six, seven, repeat. One, two, three, four, and PK five, six, Seven second and reverse. Two, three, four, and again. Two, three, four in two counts. And one, and two, and three, and four. Straight leg. Five, six, seven, eight. Again, five, six, seven, eight. Through a plie. Two, three, four and five, plie six, seven, we should have left it at the back that time, over that leg, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, let's take our time, three, four, hold it here, five, six, seven, we're going to the back, four, one, two, three, carry it round, and five, six, seven, one more of those, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, and a five. Hold six and a seven. Last set, reverse. One, two, three, four. Double hold, double hold. I'm just going to lower that leg and turn the music off. So leg is in second. We're coming up into a rise. Arms are in second if you can. Push that heel forwards at the side. Body is nice and upright. Ooh, and lower and close. 
Brilliant. Well done. Just about remembered that. Good. Uh, let's go again. Let's get that out of the way. So just make sure you've got plenty of room for everything. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, four counts twice. One, two, three, four. Aim is to keep our hips absolutely still. Two counts. One, two, three, four, and five, six, and seven, eight. Straight leg, one, two, and plie, and there. Again, five, through straight leg, and plie. Now come through plie, one, two, three, four. Again, five, six, seven, eight. I can't remember what's next. Oh, hold the leg in front. There we go. We've got time. And lift. Into Retire. Five, six. We're going forwards. And we've got forwards. Carry it round. Six, three, four. PK. Five, six. And lifting through. And again. One, two, three. To the back. And PK. And PK. And seven. And second to reverse everything. And three. Four again, five, six, seven, two counts, and two, and three, and four. Straight leg, one, two, three, four again, five, six, seven, eight, through a plie this time, two, three. Last one, we're going to hold that leg at the back and manage to remember it this time, and a nice lunge over that leg straight up and back if you can and lift attitude arabesque even five six seven second and single and single and a double and hold and a double last set and how i've got cramp <laughs> and a double and a double and a moment's grace while I turn the music off. Hold the leg in second. Take the arms into second if you can. Whew, pushing that heel forwards, lifting out of that hip, lowering with control. Closing everything. Brilliant. Okay, well done. How are you feeling? Hope you're feeling. I'm feeling good. It's a brilliant workout, this ballet stuff, isn't it? <sighs> okay, so we've got a fondue, fondue and développé. Um, so we're going to do something, something at the end of this where we're going to use the chair. Hopefully you've got a chair, but if you haven't got a chair, um, we're going to take some stretches on on your bar. Uh, for me, that this chair is just the perfect height. Once we've done the, the exercise that I'm going to set, I'm going to pull, put the chair in front of me. Uh, in fact, I'll, yeah, I'll put it here. And we're going to take a devil pay onto that chair. We're going to stretch over it that way. We're going to turn away to the side so that we're sideways on. We're going that way. We're going that way. I might cheat and hang onto the wall there. <laughs> then I'm going to come back to square to the front or, or anywhere you like, really. Take the leg out to the back. And then using the chair as a nice bit of assistance for a, a nice ponche stretch. So that would be a little bit different. If you're not using a chair, you're using the kitchen workshop, top or whatever, or a windowsill, try and use that as your bar and just move yourself as you, as you need to. Okay, so the actual fondue and développé exercise is to go our terre en croix with flexed feet. So we've got prepare to second. Making sure you can see me. So we're out second. I'm just going to put my hand on my hip. So we've got flex and point en croix. So to the front, to the side, to the back, to the side. We're going to keep the foot pointed. We're coming in and we're extending for, so it's on there. Um, sorry, so the first one, when you're flexing and pointing, the toe's going to the floor. So that's our tear. This is going to stay on there. The leg is going to stay on there. We're going to take a little coupe underneath to swap sides so that you use the back leg so you've got your fondue and then extend coupe under fondue and then extend 
coupe and the front four of those and extend. Then you're going to coupe last time, come back to the working leg for développé en croix, extending into a, a plie. So you've got one, two, extend three, lower four. And five, six, so you've got five, two counts to get to Retire. Uh, extend on a plie, that was my plie, I believe I'm not a bit rubbish. I'm going to angle myself away from the bar a little bit here. One, two, on a plie as you extend that leg at the back. Closing three, we're lowering to the floor. Three, four, Ooh. Mm. one more to second. No, let's, do, no, let's not do one more to second. Let's use that leg because it's nasty. Let's use that time to come onto your chair. So maybe just work out right now where you're going to do this. So we're both we're basically going to do, and I've chosen to I've chosen to use my chair. Um, for the stretches, it's not as great, but for the I, I actually I'm going to practice my développé um, without distorting my body. So I wouldn't be able to get my leg up here anyway or on the kitchen work or anything. So we're coming definitely pay forward, so make sure you're still working the same working leg. Extend forwards onto the chair, we're gonna take the arms up to the top. We're gonna to go nice back, flat back forwards, maybe a little back bend if you're feeling comfortable. If you can, keep the foot on the chair, turn away so that you're now um, in second. So you're, and you might actually want your leg a little bit more forwards than your hips. You, you don't want to be completely out to side unless you've got completely flat turnout. Uh, let's go, oh, it doesn't matter which way we go, but we're going to go away from the bar, we're going to go uh, away from the leg, towards the leg, maybe. And then I'd like you, if you can, to try and lift the leg up and bend into a retire, so clearing the chair. But feel free to use the chair on the wall just for a little bit of stability. Take, come into a retire, take a nice, oh, it's not gonna happen there for me. I'm gonna have to go this way maybe. Take a nice uh, développé behind, and then from here, bring the same arm forwards as that back leg, and then we're going to just take a ponche using the chair for a nice stretch at the end. Okay, here we go might put my music down on the floor for this one. So it's quite slow for the fondue, but that's good because we want it to we want to melt. Here we go. And plie. Extend. Bend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Bend. One. Two, three, out with a pointed foot, one. And on there, coupe plie. And to the back, coupe plie. And devant, coupe plie. To the back, coupe développé, one. Two, three, four. And second, one. Two, and three. Four to the back, one. Two, fondue, three, four, and let's come and change position with that chair. We're here, double play devant. Two, three, four, nice flat back over that leg. And lifting up, just take your time, just work at your own pace. If I'm going too fast for you, Absolutely, just do what you can. T twiddling to second, get a, a natural second. Make sure your hips and squares, if I, uh, hips and shoulders are square to your front. Let's go over that leg first. All the way over and away. And I'm just going to use the wall a little bit. It's a bit of a cheat. And squaring up ish to that leg. In fact, I'm going to be sort of on the corner. I'm going to lift, come into Retire. Just turn this off a second. So, we're here. I'm going to go this way. Lifting, take it into an arabesque. So that's your, that's your développé. Make sure you've got the same arm forwards as the leg that's at the back. Try and pitch forwards with your, just as your 
doing it yourself sort of thing. Then grab onto the chair, maybe the chair leg. Try and get that leg up as high as you can at the back. Hips and shoulders are square to your front. Reaching that arm forwards, I'm just going to adjust myself a little bit. So the same arm as the leg up at the back, I'm reaching it forwards, down towards the floor. So it's going in the opposite direction. Fingertips are reaching towards the floor, that leg is reaching up at the back. And then lift your spine. Try and hold that there, I can see the monitor. Get my leg out too far to the side. Ooh. And all along the other side, hurrah. Okay. So we have fondue to start with. So fondue artère, en croix, en l'air, with a pointed foot with the coupes four times. Then you've got your développé, two counts to retire, plie, extend, lower to the floor, three, close four, in front to second to the back, and then we're on the chair again. Here we go. Whatever you like with your arms. And prepare in second. And plie. Two. Three. And second. To the back. To the front, keep the foot pointed. And on the layer, coupe, melt, stand, coupe, melt, stand, coupe, melt. Four counts, two, three, and four. And second, two, three, four, to the back, one, two, plie, and four. And we're getting ourselves set up on this chair. Mm -hmm. Same leg, lift. Two, three, four, and over that leg. Ooh, nice flat back, lengthening up. So it's almost like a pour de gras in the center. We're just using the chair, turning away. I'm gonna go this way because I'm, otherwise I'm gonna be Facing a weird way for you to see. Make sure your hips and sh shoulders are nice and square. Up and over. And away, if you can. Keep that centre of gravity over that standing leg. And lifting. Come into retire. Adjust yourself as in relation to that chair. Taking the leg out behind. And I think, hit the same thing again. Reaching the same arm forward. Initially try not to be too reliant on the chair and then get that leg up at the back. So I just want the chair to be a bit of an assistant but not too much. I'm reaching forwards. Hmm, trying to keep my turn out and my standing leg. Lengthening that opposite arm forwards. I really need my chair on the other side. And then lifting up. Keep that spine lifted, keep the leg up if you can. And close. Oh, good job. Well done. Just give that back a little bit of a mobilise or whatever you feel like doing. Fantastic. We're going to finish off with some grand bat bomb, swinging legs around. And then very last thing is going to be sitting on the, the chair, doing some nice mobilising, stretching, just for the whole of the, the upper body as our cool down today. So grand back one, nice and simple. I'm gonna go really far forward so that I don't hit the wall behind me and so that you can't really see what's going on with my legs. <laughs> um, so leg in front, we're gonna, let's take a tondu and then off the floor and then maybe a flexed foot and then a pointed foot is your biggest one. We're gonna need to move it all over there. Yeah, two second tondu, so it says on the floor. Little bit more sort of a medium one, a flexed foot to just really get that stretch, and then your best effort on the end. Tonju, pointing, flexed foot, biggest one. Uh, maybe we've got time to do it to second, I'm not sure on the music, and then we're just going to take some 
on cloche. Low to start with, nice and straight to start with. Uh, getting higher as we go and then we're going to bend and just let that leg swing and just really loosen up those fabulous hips before we do our stretches at the end. Okay, here we go. I've got my grand, grand old piece of music for this one. Hopefully I'll get the timing right and we'll do a wonderful balance. Oh, actually, is that the right one? Yeah, I think it is. So we've got five, six, seven, eight. Here we go. No, there we go. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Flex foot and point in two seconds. And one, two, and medium. And that was a flex foot supposed to be. I'm going to do that one a flex foot. And to the back. And point. And flex. And extend. Let's go second one. Two. And medium. And flex. And point. Take the leg to the back. Here we go. Ready and a swish. Two. Three. Four. Nice and low, lifting out of those hips, getting higher. Allow your body to just move back and forth, higher still. Using the floor if you can. Here we go with those bent legs. One, two, three. We've got five, six, seven and hold and arise and extend good job all on the other side very dramatic dramatic with the ending there here we go six seven eight and on the floor and medium and flex and point two second one and medium and flex getting really out of breath now to the back and point and flex and point to the last one second and medium Take the leg back, in first, from first. Here we go, and swish. Two, three, four, five. This should be a piece of cake. Really use that floor, getting higher. Your leg is as light as a feather. And let's start to bend. Here we go. Bend, bend, and bend. Woo. Last five, four, three. Hold to the back. Another roll melt. Right. Ah. Okay. Not sure if I'm going to have any music on. Let's maybe have this. This is quite nice. So we're going to sit on our chair. You're going to sit on your chair. Uh, I'm going to face this way, so I'm slightly sideways on. Actually, now I'm going to fit. I'm going to be square to you. So. Sitting on your chair, but sitting at the front of your chair. So this was inspired by a Garuda Pilates uh, weekend that I've just done, a boot camp, where James De Silva, who apparently is an ex-ballet dancer, is 
well as a yoga teacher and just an amazing Pilates guru, he did this, he did a whole class sitting on the chair and it just feels really nice. Um, so I want you to sit at the front of your chair. He actually had a stool, um, but it's quite nice to have a have a, a chair at the back so that we can use that for a little bit for our stretches at the end. So let's open out the legs into a nice wide second and make sure that you are, I can go back a bit more I think. Yeah, just make sure that you're sitting on the front edge of the seat. Actually, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother with that because it's gonna distract me, I think. Okay, so let's just take arms up to the ceiling, a nice ballet arms, and then take a rounded back to come forwards. Bring your arms forwards, really round your back. So you're pushing your upper back into the chair. Take your hands onto the insides of your legs, and then take a ripple through. So reaching up, my chest's lifted, my back is quite arched, looking up, round the back, bring those arms forwards, reach them forwards in the opposite position to your back. I'm just having a little uh, little wiggle from side to side there. Hands on the insides of my knees, pushing my knees back a little bit, and then I'm sort of resting my hands on the tops of my legs as I swoop through like a great big uh, ripple. Let's take one more, up to the top. Rounding that back and then coming all the way forwards and nice and upright. Great. Just mirror me with the arms. So don't think about it. I'm not going to give you rights and lefts. Over to the side. Bring the other arm across the front of your body so that you get it out of the way. Up and over to the side. Should feel really nice. Try and keep both sit bones equally weighted on the chair. Over to the side. Just going to have a little mop. So let's do a couple more of those. You're going to add on to that with lift up over to the side. So you're really sideways on. Think about this side of your ribs lifting up towards the ceiling. Now push back with your ribs. Bring your arm forwards. It's rounded. It's parallel to the floor. Come under that arm again and then coming up over to the side. Lengthen away, lift the side of your ribs up, push back, drop the head down. I'm sort of squaring up to the corner behind me. Come back to sideways on and then up to the top. One more of those each side. So we're over to the side and we're reaching back and then we're over to the side, lifting up. Last one. Sideways, pushing back and sideways and lifting up, fabulous. Keeping this wonderful turnout, you're gonna turn your hips to one side. So drop this knee in, and I'm really perching on the edge of my seat here, and this feels really nice, just to straighten out that back leg and get a nice hip flexor stretch here. And then let's take that arm, same arm as the back leg, up to the ceiling and reach up and back. And breathe. And then if you can, all the way down to the floor with that hand, come off of the chair. So I'll come off of the, head, the chair with my furthest away hip and now I'm dropping my hips down. And then I'm going to keep my hand there and I'm going to, I'm going to turn away from you, so just maybe look first of all. Then lift that other arm up to the ceiling and give it, give it a wonderful straight line. So just take that from there. So this hand is down on the floor, hips are down, back leg is straight. You're unravelling that arm lifting up out of the floor and just take one more of those so just reach across maybe take that the moving hand past your other hand get your shoulders rotating a little bit lifting up drop those hips down come back onto the chair lift your back let's go open out to the other side here we go so drop the knee in square your hips and shoulders up to the other side really nice straight back leg Reach that arm forwards and up. You should feel a really strong stretch at the front of your hip there. All the way, pushing through the heel of the palm. And breathe. Hands down to the floor. Take your hips off of the chair. Keep that back leg straight. Now drop the hips down. Now lifting the hand that's touching the chair up to the ceiling. Draw that beautiful, imagine that wonderful straight line from the ceiling all the way down. Take that hand across a little bit, rotate your shoulders, keep the legs, hips still, lifting up again. 
lift up out of the floor, and then we're there, and then coming back onto the chair. Brilliant. Okay, bringing the legs together, give them a little bit of a little bit of a shake. Uh, last bit. So stretching out the piriformis. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, two two stretches, couple stretches here actually. So taking one leg up and over. In fact, I'm going to do my other leg because I know this is my tighter side for my hip. So you could be mirroring me, or you could just be doing your tighter side anyway. So taking the foot across the other knee. So for me, this is already giving me a stretch uh, in my hip joint here. And then I'm just going to lift. I'm going to put one hand underneath that shin and the other hand underneath the foot and lift up. Trying to sit up really nice and tall. I'm going to put that foot down again. I'm going to reach forwards, and this absolutely kills me. Reach forward. If, you, if this isn't a problem for you, you'll probably have your chest flat against your legs. If you're anything like me, this is an absolute killer. But a really good stretch here in that outside thigh and hip with the knee that's sticking out to the side and your buttock, and then sit up really nice and tall, cross that leg over a little bit, but keep it lifted, take hold of the opposite hand, you can either put your spare hand behind your body, behind your butt if you like, and use it to help you push up, or actually grab hold of the back of your chair, and now rotate, make sure you're really sitting upright, so combining two things here, I'm pulling that knee across, and I'm rotating round, and breathe, and breathe, and then come back to the front. Let's try all of that on the other side. So we're crossing over, sitting really upright. You might not feel anything here at all. I can already feel that stretching. Then I'm taking hold of that foot and lifting up a little bit. I'm trying not to rock back in my pelvis. I'm trying to sit up nice and tall. So this is like the pigeon, pigeon stretch. And then I'm resting that foot down again and I'm reaching over a little bit easier on this side because I'm not so quite so tight in the hip on this side. And breathe. Or whistle, it's the only time I can whistle. Sitting upright, cross that leg over, but not completely, you know, sitting, sipping cocktails at the bar. Hold on to that leg, lift it up, rotate it round, get your spine really upright by hanging onto the back of the chair or pushing that hand behind you. And then create two areas of torsion with that back hand work towards reaching towards that and pull that front knee in and spiral and breathe well done come back two facing forwards hands feet on the floor uh, just take your hands down to the floor if you can and straighten those legs and breathe just let your upper body hang from your waist nod your head shake your head Bend one knee at a time. So we're stretching the backs of the legs. When you bend one knee at a time, your pelvis, your hips will just drop from side to side like a seesaw. That's good, that's nice. And then soften both knees and roll up through the spine exactly like we did in the beginning, unraveling all the way through. Growing nice and tall with the whole of your spine. And hopefully you feel like you've had a good workout. And thank you so much for joining me, everyone. Hope to see you again.